Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we're talking VDL. We have two of the new VDL primers, and I can't tell you how excited I am to try these out because I have heard amazing things about it. Like, amazing things about the VDL primers. Being 100% honest with you, before we got it in the brochures, I never even heard of or paid attention to VDL because I've always been so Avon focused <laughs> and uh, Avon and Mark focused. But now that I've heard about it and I've read up on it, I am like really excited to try it on. VDL stands for Vivid Desires Comes to Life and it is part of K-Beauty and it originally came from, I believe it was Seoul, Korea. It is formulated for people who love glow and glass skin. So what is glass skin? Glass skin is basically a fancy term for like beautiful, poreless, gorgeous, dewy skin. It's just basically skin that looks super healthy and super smooth, which we all want, right? I mean, I know I want that. VDL users are people who are looking for a correcting primer. They have uh, things that they want to address, such as like wrinkles, fine lines, dryness, dullness, or pale or tired looking skin. And it's, I think it's pretty much everything that's going on with my face right now. And then people who love the latest makeup trends, you know, like the glowy glass skin, which is something I'm still trying to achieve. Also people who are seeking primers for the purpose of prolonging their makeup makeup look and their makeup life for the day. So VDL is known for their primers with the Lumilayer technology, which takes red light and blue light to create this gorgeous glow. Well, not gorgeous yet because I haven't tried it yet. My face is basically naked. I just did my skincare routine a little while ago. It uses violet light energy from the Lumilayer prismatic pearls, which creates the insta-famous luminous look. They take the red light and the blue light and they combine it together to create a healthy skin tone. So red light is found in bright, healthy, glow, uh, glowing skin. And blue light is found in clear, translucent skin, which is found in baby skin. And that's why like baby skin just always looks so perfect. So within our VDL collection, Avon has four different primers for you to choose from. There is the Lumilayer Primer, the Lumilayer Metal Cushion Primer, the Lumilayer Primer Fresh, and the Sat Veil Primer. So all four of these have a different effect depending on what you're looking for. So you really do need to look for and choose which primer is best for you. So the Lumilayer Primer here, this one is um, you use a small amount and you're supposed to put it in your highlight zone. So like underneath your eyes, along your cheekbones, around your T-zone area. So you use it very sparingly. Now, I also got the Lumilayer Metal Cushion Primer, which is, according to the VDL website, it is their absolutely most top-selling primer. And it's actually sold out on their website, but Avon has it. As of right now, Avon has it. It helps to create and maximize radiance. Now, there's also the... Lumilayer Primer Fresh, which is ultra hydrating and it leaves the sun with a sun-kissed and flawless glow. So it moisturizes as well as creating the flawless finish and a flawless base for you to put your foundation on. And then there is also the Satin Veil Primer, which helps to um, minimize pores. So I actually, now that I think about it, I should have gotten that one as well, but I'm gonna start off with these two and go from there. Now, primers you can wear either under makeup or you can wear alone depending on the look that you're going for. What I'm going to do for you guys today is, because I have two and I wanna put this all into one video, I'm gonna do half of my face with this one and half of my face with this one. And we'll compare it. And then after that, I'll just finish up my makeup and I do have a bunch of meetings today, so I wonder if anyone will notice. So this one here is a VDL Lumiere Primer. So you can use this one as a sheer highlighter. You can use it alone, like I said, under foundation, or use it just as a sheer highlighter. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God. I opened it and I love the top of the product already. Ooh, interesting. It looks kinda fancy schmancy guys super fancy schmancy now the other one i got this one is the top selling one according to the video website and interesting it comes apart Ooh. so remove protective film before using i'm supposed to i guess put it all together what oh i'm very confused do i get two is this a refill I was expecting this to be completely empty and then when I opened it and I saw that it was 
the puffy's already there. I was like, oh, cool. They gave you an extra one. Let me read. Oh, wow. It includes the cushion refill and two applicators. That is a deal. <laughs> wow. That's a really great price then. I clearly didn't read it properly when I ordered it. So I don't need to open this one yet. All right, so this is a refill. I'm gonna put it safely back in the box. This is the outside, excuse the smudgy fingers. And then here is the inside of it. You can, it, it's not really a mirror, but you can, it's clear enough that I can kind of see my own reflection. So you have to remove the protective film and let's take a look at it. Ha! Oh, that's so cool. This part's metal here. And so with this one, you're supposed to like press down. Okay, I gotta, I gotta focus. I gotta focus, guys. I need to focus because I'm going back and forth. I'm actually really excited about this one right now. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today, half with the Lumilayer primer and the other half with the Lumiere metal cushion primer. So this one, I'm only supposed to use on my T-zone and under my eyes. This one is full face. So let's get priming. I had a hormone switch, so I have acne, I have pimples. With this one here, I have my little beauty blender, and you're supposed to just put in your T-zone and here. So I'm going to put here, I want to make it a backwards seven zone for me, and then here. I love the top of this product. Look at the lid, look at that packaging. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Let's just try it on the back of my hand for it. So it comes out just kind of like white it looks almost like a face cream Ooh, it is a little iridescent oh wow oh my gosh look at that guys holy wow it is it is it is gonna be very glowy <laughs> that might actually be enough on my face whoa okay i'm gonna blend this in a little bit more just so that we can get the effect of it look at that look at that look at that look at that check that out whoa Holy wow, super glow. Super glow. Do, 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 do. All right, so compare. See that? So this is this is has, has nothing. But look at that. Look at that shine. Look at that glow. Not even not shine. It's like look at that glow. Whoa, I can't even see it just through my through my setup. Like wow, that's a huge difference. Okay. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Oh my god, I'm really excited about it. Oh, it smells quite pleasant. It smells very fresh. It's not like florally perfumey. I'm just gonna put a little bit again on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. So I'm gonna put it here. I feel almost feel like I don't even want. Maybe it's because I'm doing half my face. But this one, because it's so sparing, I think I'm just gonna use my fingertips. So they do recommend that if you're using a primer, let it set first before putting on any other makeup. Just a little bit on top of my lip, my chin. Under my eyes, I think I could use this. Oh, oh. What? What? Oh my God. Holy crap. Okay, so I wiped off a little bit of it. And once it dries, like this part here dried, and this part I put some fresh product in. And so that wipes off easily. But the ones I left on, look at, look at that staying power too. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, well, let's take a look. Holy glow We so glowy so 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 glowy oh my gosh okay what okay what oh my god oh my god like crazy wow look at that look at that look at that dewiness that is some high shine guys oh and it's, it's not sticky it's not sticky at all it just like melted into my skin so well look at that glow Look at this glow. And like, it feels like nothing's on there anymore. It blended so well. Like it feels like there's absolutely nothing in there. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, let's try now the other side, the VDL uh, metal cushion primer. I'm really excited to try this one. So this one you're supposed to use on your entire face. It's the portable cushion design. It's great for on the go. So if you're going out, let's say when we go, can go back out again, guys, you can take it to the gym, you can take it to the office for that like you can go from a day to night look. Now for this, in order to get the product out, because like there's nothing there, this I really like because it actually feels a lot cleaner too. What you do is you're supposed to take your two thumbs and press down for the products to come out. Okay, now it's just because of the angle that I'm on. <laughs> That's why it's doing that. But it would normally just come straight up, which is cleaner than what I did. Let's try it. 
Oh, I just got a little bit and that one spot is like extra glowy. Okay, so it's going on. It's cool. It feels nice and cool. So you actually know where I have everything going. I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes too. And what I like about these is that you can fold them to get into like the hard to reach areas. So this one I'm supposed to put all over my face. Okay, done. And I can throw this into my bag or my makeup bag. Okay, let's take a peek. I feel like the metal cushion primer is not as intense of a highlighter, but Oh, my skin feels so soft. But look at, oh, 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 look, okay. It's dry now and look, do you see that? Do you see that glow? Ooh. What? What? Oh my, okay, even with my glasses off guys, I can see the glow through my mirror. That's like behind my camera what yeah I, I feel like my pores look smaller <laughs> uh, especially on this side so this side has the cushion primer and this side has the lumen layer primer used of course differently so this one's this one this one i just love how it just slightly catches the light oh like it's just such a beautiful glow oh he wow Wow, 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 wow. It's like, you know those filters that you do on on everything now? Like the, the, the beauty filters? This is like beauty filter carry with you all the time. I really like this one, guys. I, I really like this one as a full face. And then this one, if I'm doing like something a little bit more stage work or if I'm going out for a night, I would use this as a highlighter, probably on top of my makeup even. I might try that. What? Oh my God. And I love how it feels. BDL. And the scent is so nice. It's so pleasant. It's very fresh. It just smells really nice and fresh. So it's not like overpowering or anything. I, I would wear this probably on its own even because it's just giving this nice, beautiful glow to my skin. I would wear the, the cushion, the metal cushion uh, primer, even just on its own because it's creating such a beautiful, just nice dewy glow texture to my skin. Oh my God. Okay, I love it. I freaking love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now I'm going to use some foundation. Let's do it with the uh, cashmere because, I mean, this is the last one that I reviewed, so I might as well give it a try it with this one. This one is supposed to be medium to full coverage that is buildable. For my full video on it, click up here. And now my favorite concealer. I love this concealer. Like, look at this concealer. It is so perfect. Now let's take a look. And you can still see a little bit of the highlights. I It shines through just ever so lightly. But I mean, I loved the look of it without anything else, especially the metal, the, the cushion one. Very interesting. Okay, so I think this further just kind of talks about the importance of using a primer when you're doing a full face makeup. So for this side here, because I used it on the full face, I feel like that it's actually, it really is sitting on my, the foundation is on my skin and applied on my skin a lot better. If you look, it doesn't look like it's settled into my pores at all, right? At all. On this side here, because I only applied it right on the tops of my cheeks, right? And my forehead area here what i'm noticing is in the areas like right here where i didn't put any on the of the primer what i'm noticing is it does look like it kind of settled into my pores a little bit more than on this side and i would have never noticed that if i didn't test it out the way i'm testing it out now with half a face and a half a face that is really interesting so again guys that just really shows the importance of using a primer if you're doing a full foundation if you have things like the large pores like i do are like a bit of fine lines even the lines here like is not creasing like i don't feel like it's really set fitting into my pores it's just it's, it's sitting a lot better on my skin like the foundation is on my face a bit better with the cushion and then when i just put it on these specific parts obviously because there's no not there's no primer on this part of my face right so it does make sense so if you do want to layer this primer with another primer um i would probably suggest the magic's face primer which helps to kind of just create a really smooth base or if you want to use a vdl one go ahead and get the satin veil because that one will also 
create an even surface so it kind of helps to like fill in the pores I can't think of a better word for say like a better phrase for saying it but like fill in the pores so that it can, the foundation can't sit into your pores now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this back on again just to kind of show you how I would probably use this as a highlight as a glowy highlighter so if I was going to do highlight and contouring I'd do that now and then just use this as a finishing touch like just ever so slightly I'm just going to do half the face just so you guys can kind of see it everything on this side just has that extra little glow it just catches the light it's just that slight iridescent catch of the light right so I would actually say just put this on top that that's me that's like and like I say I'm not a makeup artist I just play with makeup I am a makeup enthusiast but if I was using this um, I would just literally just after I finish my face I would just put a little bit as a top highlighter like just on the tops of my cheekbones just to kind of give it that little bit of dewiness and a little bit of glow like this side is a very nice even glow so if you want like the look that your whole face has a nice dewiness I would definitely suggest use the metal cushion primer if you want to just have a glow in certain spots as a highlighter get the lumen layer primer um yeah I really like it as a top as a top highlighter I really really like it as a top highlighter like I will use this just like this often thank you so much for joining me today guys while i tested out two of our vdl primers i freaking freaking love the metal cushion one if i'm going to recommend i would definitely recommend this one if you don't do a full face every single day um i would use this you know i could probably even use this on its own every now and then if i want like a little gluey look or if i'm doing like a bb cream or just something really sheer just to even on my skin but i really love this one this one is great as an extra like bling for your face if, if you want to have an extra shot of glow on your cheekbones and just on some highlighting areas this has a beautiful beautiful iridescent effect if i am doing a full face foundation i'd probably just get a little bit more use out of this um simply because i want to have a nice even base because that is the purpose of my primer if you guys want to learn more about this make sure you do click my easter link down below you can get some more information on our primers on all of our primers as well as all of our new korean curated beauty products if you're interested to becoming a beauty boss make sure you also click that easter link down below and then click the join avon button and i will be here to help guide you through your online business process if you enjoy content like this make sure you do let me know give me a big fat thumbs up and if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification i have new videos out every single week about beauty products business tips and every now and then some of my dance adventures i love you guys i'll see you in the next video Bye.